Competition briefing. Usually I give this briefing at a Barney Wise camp, but uh, to save your expedition time, uh, I do it uh, now because we had a little bit delay. So, first of all, uh, let me introduce my assistant, Alec. Hello, everybody. And uh, Hello. Doctor. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Together with them, we will provide expedition support for your North Pole adventure. So very soon, you will fly to the Arctic to Borneo Ice Camp. Borneo Ice Camp is a very unique one, and it's the only facility in the Arctic Ocean to provide you with such kind of expeditions. And uh, this camp, uh, we are carrying out all these activities, all these operations nearly for 30 years now. The camp is an operation only a short time, between normally between April 1 and April 29, because it's the best time of the year for flights and travel in the area of the North Pole. Normally, you know, uh, the weather is very good. Uh, we have 24 hours sunshine, ice thickness is big, and uh, we have cold temperatures, which is good for skiers, for example. The open water freezes uh, pretty fast. And uh, the camp is also unique because it is uh, situated almost in the middle of the Arctic Ocean, on drifting ice. In, uh, in this point, uh, the Arctic Ocean is about 4,000 meters deep. And the thin top layer of ice is only 2-3 meters. You will travel on this ice. So, uh, Barneo Ice Camp is uh, drifting together with the ice. You know, on this chart you can see uh, drift of the Ice Camp Barneo in different years. So, the drift is different from year to year, from day to day. Sometimes the drift is only uh, maybe one, two kilometers a day. Sometimes it even uh, 18 kilometers a day. Ooh. So you see it for the season, it's uh, the drift for the season, for one month. The longest drift ever we had is about uh, 200 kilometers uh, for uh, one month. So our camp Our camp now at the position uh, more or less about 88 uh, degrees 20 minutes north and uh, 111 degrees east. Uh, we have uh, 24 hours daylight, daylight and at Barmeo we keep Krasnoyarsk time which is 4 hours ahead of Moscow and uh, GMT uh, plus 7. So, uh, on this picture you see general composition of uh, Barnea. So we have a runway to receive aircraft, and we have uh, a helicopter crew uh, camp with helipad, and Barnea ice camp itself. So the runway. The runway is 1,200 meters long and uh, 60 meters wide. And the thickness of ice on the runway is about two meters. But it's enough one and a half meter thickness of ice to receive our aircraft. It's Antonov 74 or Antonov 72. We'll be flying with Antonov 72 aircraft. They are almost the same. Next to the runway, there is a helicopter crew camp. We have two helicopters, Mi-8, and two helicopter crews, altogether 11 people. It's not allowed to visit helicopter site without invitation. So, very soon you arrive 
to a Barnell ice camp on this runway. So start disembarkation only with the signal with flight attendant and do not forget your hand baggage. Flight attendant and Barnell staff will, help, uh, will unload your checked uh, baggage but you are very welcome to help them to unload and put it in a special place. We show the place where to put it. Uh, please check all your luggage yeah, after arrival. If you notice something missing, report it to me immediately. So preparation for the flight. I will meet you uh, tomorrow. I will fly with technical flight and we will uh, check the runway and put the runway into operation. And I will meet you there. I will, be, uh, will meet you there. So, uh, when you come uh, to uh, runway and you will see the <coughs> sleds, you will check everything. I will prepare white gas canisters for you and you will start picking. All the equipment. So, a flight to the starting point of your ski expedition. We will fly with a helicopter Mi 8, as I told you, and uh, each helicopter can accommodate maximum uh, 15 skiers with sledges. So, for your teams, we use uh, two helicopters, and your guides will, take, uh, will tell you uh, in which helicopter. Uh, you fly in. We discuss uh, this with the guides. So we try to bring you, we bring you, we not try, <laughs> we bring you to the starting point <laughs> in the place where the drift will help you to reach the North Pole. It will be positive drift, it will be in the direction of the North Pole. Because sometimes it happens that uh, ice drift changes and for example, you camp somewhere on ice and you sleep during the night and in the morning you wake up and see that uh, you are further from the North Pole. But we try to bring you to the position that uh, you will be happy in the morning with positive treats. <laughs> so preparation for the, uh, preparation for the flight. That's Dixie in that last picture. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, when everything is ready and you pack your sledges and uh, helicopter pilot uh, give the signal, I uh, invite you uh, for loading uh, your sledges and boarding. And you have to follow the guy to helipad in a compact group. All loading operations must be carried out under supervision of uh, the helicopter crew. So you have to approach the helicopter from the front side for the pilots to see you approaching. Stay away, it's very important, it's very important. Stay away from the tail because of the danger of rota uh, rotating uh, blades. Start loading and boarding according to the instructions of the guides and pilots. And uh, you have to carry long objects uh, below the waist level, only in horizontal position, and uh, not over the shoulder. If suddenly blinded by the swirling snow or uh, flying object, uh, stop and uh, crouch lower or sit down and wait for the assistance. So we fly to the uh, starting point of the expedition. Uh, normally, you know, for small groups, uh, we disembark uh, with rotating blades. So in this case, you have to leave helicopter as soon as possible. 
carry slides and skis in the direction of 11 o'clock. Everybody understand what is 11 o'clock means? You see, and 11 o'clock is this way from the helicopter, yeah. At least 30 meters from the helicopter. Hold the equipment until the helicopter is left. But if there is a big group, we switch off the engine and you will, uh, you will unload your sleds easily, but always beware of the tail hazard of the propeller and also you have to carry your sleds in the direction of 11 o'clock, but without blowing wind. Being on route, of course, follow instructions of your guides. Hope you will have an awesome journey in the Arctic. Enjoy the Arctic and listen to the sound of the Arctic Ocean. It's uh, alive. degrees above the horizon. It's very good, uh, very good light, very good photo photography. So, as soon as you arrive to the North Pole, we fly with helicopter to, to your point, uh, to the North Pole, and pick you up and bring you back to our air camp. Thank you very much for your patience. in a dangerous expedition so take care of yourself uh, take care of your bodies in expeditions look for the frostbites for example at each other during the day so no frostbites take care not to grab everything with the bare hands also remember uh, you have your guides with you okay. so they will uh, follow the instructions follow the instructions of Victor at the Barno, so do not go behind the helicopter, as Victor said. Yeah. Also, do not go and run uh, in front of the plane while you land. Uh, your first instinct was will be to take pictures <laughs> and get excited. Just wait a little bit and follow the instructions of Victor. It's really important. Uh, sometimes it's also dangerous to go from one side to, to the, the back of the plane too, because it has a turbine. So follow the instructions. Uh, also, don't uh, don't forget there is a possibility of polar bears. Uh, guides will take care of you in this, but also look at the, the surroundings. Uh, something else. <laughs> okay, so uh, after after this briefing, I asked uh, uh, the guides to stay with me for a short meeting about communication and emergency issues. <laughs> 